So today we are going to be going and taking some portraits, but I don't have anyone here to help me out, which means I'm going to be giving you three composition tips on how to get epic pictures from the boring all by yourself. Let's do this. Alright, so I was going to go and film over there on the track, but because I decided to film at peak hour, it's very, very, very busy and it's very noisy, so we've found a little bit of a quieter spot, though, as you can hear, we've got a lot of bellbirds right now. Anyway, so, first tip that I want to talk about is interesting leading lines. Now, I'm not talking like leading lines because everyone talks about leading lines. No, I'm talking about interesting leading lines. Find something that will spice up an otherwise boring composition such as a bend through a path or bend through your composition. Paths do it quite well. That's why I chose to use this path right here as my leading line subject, if you will. And then now when you do go over to take the picture of yourself that you're wanting to do, you're going to want to set up the remote. How to do that, we're going to go straight back to the office for a quick second. I'm going to show you what to do and then we're going to pop back out here. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how to connect this to this. Now, if you already know how to do this, feel free to skip ahead because you're not gonna miss anything. But let's get onto this so we can get back to the action. Okay, so all you do here is you go into menu, you scroll through to network, and then you go down to control with smartphone. Click that, a little QR code will come up. Scan that with your phone. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so now once that's all set up, you want to go walk over to where you're going to, you know, be in the frame and don't, whatever you do, do this. Just don't. It's strange, it's weird, no one's going to like it literally and, you know, physically. It's just going to look strange. What we want to do is you want to go frame yourself up, always put yourself on a side angle for some reason that's you know, the best way to show yourself, if you will, in a self-portrait. So many bugs, ugh, Australia. Now, I think the most engaging way to get a picture of yourself is by pretending something around you looks interesting. Now, what I mean by that is you don't want to look straight down the lens like we just showed you before, because that is strange. What we want to do is find something, say like a tree or like a rock or stick or something around you in the air or on the ground that looks really interesting and you just want to focus on that make give yourself like a smoldering dr bravestone kind of look and that will allow for a much more interesting engaging photograph because you'll be like hmm i wonder what's going on there like what's that guy thinking about or what's that person thinking about try this a few different ways see what you know works best and what angles work best if you have a secondary subject like i do right here then use this to further extend the mystery if you will by leaning on different angles that would just give it that little extra edge over the normal portrait kind of look now lastly we're going to go to a different location because this is something that i think really is worth mentioning let's go all right so we have come to this last location right here behind me because it is an excellent example of framing. Now, we haven't mentioned this yet, so framing is basically where you're putting yourself in the composition, so framing. But anyway, the, the reason we're here is because, as you can see, through the rule of thirds, we've been able to line up the shot and get a really, really nice and interesting composition. Now, to put a subject into this is a lot easier because you know the general area that you want to put yourself in as opposed to before when all we had was a bit of a footpath now we have a very interesting subject leading the eyes towards that all right that is all from me i really hope you found this useful and you got something out of it if you did i would really appreciate a like down here as it really does help my channel i know i said really twice very quickly just then but it does and if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed well why not join in the fun and further incentivize me to make more of these videos okay i'll see you in the next one bye